Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. So for today, we're going to be planning out the week of Thanksgiving and I am actually using the freebie that I just shared in our Facebook group. I am going to leave a link for this freebie in the description box down below too. So those of you who are not in the Facebook group or do not use Facebook, you're able to access this freebie. So the freebie comes in, bo in both blah, <laughs> comes in both portrait and landscape mode. And I used the weekly layout, the flexible vertical layout. I felt like that was one of the most universal layouts that you could use or the most flexible, <laughs> if you will, layouts. So it is a dated November 2021 and December 2021 planner. So you're gonna get the monthly view for both November, December, as well as the weeks for the rest of the year. And you're gonna also get the monthly dashboard pages and everything's hyperlinked and all that fun stuff. But I wanted to just give you guys a tool that you can use to start planning now, because I know a lot of you are anxious to get started in your planners in January. So yeah, so I am super excited about this freebie and I'm gonna be using it today for planning out my week. And yeah, it's very exciting. So I also wanted to share how you can use the spaces for the sidebar stickers with older kits. So I am actually using the Rustic Thanksgiving sticker kit. And as you guys see, I am using the shapes tool in GoodNotes to trace the spot, the little gray area for the sidebar sticker. I adjusted the hex codes. I added custom hex codes for the shapes tool. Um, the hex codes are always provided in my sticker kit, so your pens, highlighter, shapes tool, all that good stuff will match the sticker kit. And then I'm using some of my transparent sidebar stickers over here to lay on top of the rectangle shape I've drawn. So I'm adding that pop of color with the shapes tool. You can also just leave them gray and just use the transparent sidebar stickers if you want to. If you purchase the planner from my shop, you'll automatically receive those transparent stickers. But I went ahead and took it a step further and used some of the matching shapes like this one to kind of lay on top of that transparent um, sticker, sidebar sticker. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I should be filming this video right now, you guys. I'm. It's about 1030 and I have like, I don't know, I've been like going so hard like work-wise like you know getting the planners and stuff done that I feel like once they were done I just like this whole just feeling <laughs> of like woo <laughs> came over me I took like a five hour nap the day of launch it was glorious and then I slept for probably 10 hours last night and I still feel a little loopy and a little tired I think it'll take me a few days to like recover <laughs> from it but the launch has been so exciting and you guys have been so supportive and sweet and I just could not be more appreciative of that because I've mentioned before but you know as a small business owner especially it just being me myself and I <laughs> that's running my business you know I'm really putting myself out there with these products and so when you guys love them and show your support and everything I it just means the world to me so thank you so much for all of that and that's one of the big reasons I wanted to create this freebie is just a way to say thank you so much for all of your positive feedback all of your kind words just all of it I you guys are amazing you're so awesome so thank you so much for both myself and my family because Andrew has been all hands on deck taking care of the kids and the house and all this stuff and he's been working hard too and yeah so we're just so excited that you guys love the new planner line as much as you do and um, I'm very excited to use it and to get it all set up and ready to go you guys are gonna see lots of videos coming up from me just setting up my planner with my daily add-on and my notes add-on I've got all sorts of ideas I have all sorts of add-ons that I'm gonna be working on to add to the shop the first one I'm gonna add as soon as possible is the budget add-on I know you a lot of you guys are wanting the budget add-on I want the budget add-on and selfishly <laughs> I want to use it for December so my goal is actually to get that done and released sometime early next week in the shop so stay tuned for that it will come in both portrait and landscape mode 
and it's going to come with budget inserts, the neutral budget inserts. So that's what you can expect for the budget add-on. But yeah, that will be coming very, very soon to the shop. So stay tuned for that. But I've got a whole list, you guys. Like I've got my notes right here. I have a whole list of add-ons I'm planning to add. And then if you guys can think of other ones that you want me to work on, definitely let me know. But I know for sure before the new year hits, I want to get a health and fitness um, add-on together. I want to get a faith-based like scripture sort of journal put together, a reading log to kind of keep track of the books you're reading and books you want to read and your ratings for books and all that kind of stuff. And then I also want to get um, I don't know if all of these are going to get done before the new year. For sure the health and fitness and then as many as I can get done in December I will. But I want to do like a goal one, a small business one, a recipe book, um, all sorts of different ones. And so definitely let me know if there's something specific you'd love to see as like a hyperlinked add-on tool for your planner. Let me know because I will be adding on to the adding on to the add-ons list. <laughs> um, I'll be adding on to the list um, as much as possible. I want to come up with as many add-ons as possible um, for you guys. So, yeah. So that's what you can expect, though, as far as add-ons that are going to be released pretty soon in the shop. What I've got coming up. My priorities for this upcoming week, as far as my business is concerned, is to get that budget add-on like I mentioned. I also want to get a scripts bundle put together, so script stickers you can use with your sticker packs. And then I also want to get the January kits up and ready to go. I believe I will probably have the January kits up and ready to go early on in December. Maybe sooner, we'll see how much I'm able to get done this next week. but. I'm definitely going to be playing catch up a little bit with the sticker kits. Normally the January kits would have been released already, but I've just been working solely on the planners getting those ready to go. So overall my goal is to have the February kits released before the New Year as well so we can kind of get back on track with our normal schedule <laughs> with sticker kits and stuff. So I am going to be adjusting the budget sheet um, as well. I did not realize, and this just goes to show, I have not traveled much at all. I think um, I've been to Mexico and that's about it. <laughs> so I added the Euro to the budget sheet thinking, you know, again, I had no clue. My husband knew this. I had no idea because I asked him, I was like, what currency do they use like over in the UK? Like I thought it was the Euro and he's like, oh no, it's the pound or whatever. And so anyways, so I added the euro thinking that that was like the only currency <laughs> used overseas, which again, just pure, like just not being educated on this stuff. Um, so I will be adding the pound. So do not fret about that. If you are overseas and you were wanting budget stickers that have the pound symbol on them, I will be adding those soon and I will um, put the updates in the Dropbox and all that good stuff. So. Um, that will be adjusted very quickly. Um, that should be a pretty quick fix for me. So I will get that done for you guys. But but yeah, so um, and then what else? What else am I working on? Um, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to tell you guys. But um, that's what's coming up for the shop in the very near foreseeable future. I am working on getting back on track with YouTube, getting into like a good routine with it again a good schedule with it again so um, I might be switching things up a little bit because I want to share like I'm a big fan of acronyms like I don't know I'm just super nerdy like that so I want to do tip Tuesday so I'm I'm thinking I might move my day in the life videos back to Monday and then on Tuesday I will do tips for digital planning and this upcoming Tuesday I want to do a video all about the Prosper You add-ons, how to use them, tips and tricks for them, all sorts of things because I've been getting lots of questions about them which is totally understandable, they're a completely new thing. So I want to do a much more in-depth video about how to add them to your planner, how to navigate through them and just kind of my overall thinking behind them as well. So that will be shared on Tuesday this upcoming Tuesday that's the plan right now anyways and so um, and then Wednesday will be for my occasional extra videos like I do a monthly plan with me um, I think I might start sharing like my new well I do do new releases what am I talking about I do new releases on Wednesdays as well 
So there'll be a new release video, a monthly plan with me video. Um, if I do like my monthly like budget results and monthly budget, like that will go Wednesday, Thursday and all of that. So Wednesday is kind of like a open day for those like monthly videos and then anything extra I might do. Thursday will be my budget video. Um, I always do my weekly check-ins on Thursdays and I'll post like my budget itself on Thursdays and all of that. And then Friday I will do my plan with me. So that's kind of my thought process <laughs> behind everything right now. I'm trying to get organized with that. I also want to start posting on Sweat and to Prosper here very soon. Um, that channel has been very neglected during this time. I quit my full-time job thinking I would have all this time for a second YouTube channel and jokes on me, that did not happen. <laughs> but I'm hoping once everything's kind of caught up and back on track and everything with all my business tasks and I get like my high priority stuff done and get myself into a good routine, then I can, you know, start up that channel again in January probably, which is like perfect timing because that's when everyone's kind of, you know, rethinking their health and fitness goals and all that kind of stuff. So um, Weight Watchers just came out with a brand new program that I still need to do like research on and stuff. I know a little bit about it, but not a ton. So I want to start going to my meetings again. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a meeting this Saturday and just kind of get back on track with that sort of stuff. So yeah, I feel like I'm able, I, I was telling, I told this to Andrew earlier, we went out for a date night tonight and went to Texas Roadhouse. I swear you guys, Texas Roadhouse is so like, is the right word underrated? <laughs> I think, I don't know, I feel like my brain is like having all sorts of brain farts over here. But Texas Roadhouse is one of my favorite places to eat. I love a good steak. I am one of those, like I just love a good steak and I always get a filet and I always get it medium, and I swear the steak at Texas Roadhouse is just so good. I don't know what they season it with, but it's so well seasoned every single time. So anyways, we went there, I got a mango margarita. It was delicious. So <laughs> I'm feeling good right now. But um, I, I told him, I said that like this weird like thing happened. Like as soon as this launch was behind me, I just feel like my brain was like, and we're working again, Steph. We're good to go. Like my, all of my thoughts weren't like totally consumed by, you know, the planners and stuff like that. I feel like I can catch up with some of my favorite YouTube people. I feel like I've, I'm so behind on watching like YouTube videos and stuff from like some of my favorite YouTube people. Like I need to catch up on your videos. It's been a hot minute since I've been watching those. I just kind of realized that I get way too distracted watching videos, so I've actually been listening to music more when I do my work, and I've actually been, and this might sound really nerdy, but I've been listening to um, like this Brainwaves, is it called Brainwaves? Let me find it. Brainwave, Brainwaves Mike is the artist, and they're like these, um, I don't know how to explain them, but it like, it helps you focus, so I've been using those and I swear those make a huge difference with productivity and stuff yeah brainwaves mic is what it's called and it's just like soothing kind of music I don't know um, but yeah it definitely helps you like focus more and be more productive so I realize like listening to music is definitely the way to go for me I would turn on shows occasionally that I didn't like I didn't mind just like listening to like the hills um, new beginnings I don't really watch <laughs> shows like that I'll just like listen to the the drama, if you will, a little bit. Um, so I did watch shows like that occasionally, but for the most part, I would listen to music and that's made a big difference. So anyways, I feel like I'm really behind on that. And so I need to catch up with those. And like, I want to start reading again, which you guys will see in this planner spread. I put Warbreaker in there. I read like the first chapter and a half of Warbreaker and then I never picked it up. Not because the book was not intriguing. It's super intriguing. It's very interesting like right off the bat. It had me hooked, but I just like didn't have time at all to read. So I'm excited to get back into that and get into like a morning routine and have like a normal <laughs> balanced life where I'm not like working 16 hours a day and I'm up until, you know, two, three in the morning and stuff like that. So um, yeah, Andrew and I are going to sit down at some point and figure out a really good schedule um, that I can stick with that will give us more of like that balance and 
I want to get myself on sort of like a more structured schedule as far as like, you know, throughout the month, like this week I work on sticker kits, the next week I work on next year's planners and so on and so forth. Like I want to kind of work on all of that. <laughs> so it's time to get organized, which is uh, kind of perfect because the year is, believe it or not, ending. Does that blow anyone else's mind, by the way? Like, I really cannot believe that this year is ending. That doesn't seem possible to me. Like, we are heading into December. It's mind-blowing to me. Like, I don't know where the time went, truly. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It just does not seem possible that we're already... I feel like we just had a new year. Right? Is that just me? It's, it, it's honestly freaking me out. See, there's Warbreaker. <laughs> I love that little review thing. It has lines where you can, you know, write out your thoughts about the book and then a star thing where you can rate it. And there's a little star digital sticker that I'll use to cover up those stars and stuff. But I love how this spread turned out, by the way. I love the flexible layout because you can really, I mean, it's really flexible. <laughs> that's, that's why I picked it um, as like the freebie weekly spread. I know there are, by the way, there are a ton of weekly layout options. And I totally understand that that can be overwhelming. My thought process behind having so many for this launch was I kind of wanted to see what the top runners would be before I narrow it down. So in the future, I won't have as many options, um, but I just wanted to kind of get a feel for which layout options you guys liked the most and everything like that. I'm already, you guys, I'm already thinking about next year's planners. Even though these ones just launched, I'm already thinking about it. I know I'm gonna be releasing the academic year planners in May. So those will be the ones that go July to June. This is something I wanted your guys' opinion on. And I was just talking to my friend Kelsey about this earlier. So I offer three design themes for this launch and I wanna do that every launch moving forward. But for the planners that are released mid-year, July to June, would you guys prefer to see those planners with the same themes? which this go around, it was boho, farmhouse, black and white. So it'd be all the same designs, all the same artwork, everything like that. Or would you prefer to see three different themes? Um, I feel like the frustration of that might be that like, you'll be tempted to switch if you like a theme a little bit more in July. And I know the the goal is for us to use the planner for like the whole year, right? I know that's a goal of mine. I'm like, when I start a planner, I better finish that planner. I'm yet to do that, by the way, in my whole planning life experience. I have never started a planner in January and finished it in December. That is a goal I'm striving for though. So I was trying to debate. I'm like, okay, should I do the same themes or should I do different themes? Um, I'm leaning towards doing the same themes for that reason. I just don't want anyone to be to feel like, like they're missing out, you know? Although it's really easy, honestly. The way that I, like my thought process behind how I have the design set up with these planners, planners, <laughs> what? Anyways, with these planners, um, is you can switch out the covers very easily. And I might start making dividers too. Let me know if that's something you guys would wanna see. Would you guys wanna see dividers as well as covers? where you can switch out like the design of the divider. That's something I might add to the shop too. So if you want to switch themes, it's very easy for you to do so because all you would have to do is switch out the cover and then you know get the sticker kit that matches and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then if I add the dividers, which might be happening, let me know what you guys think about the divider thing. That was just like an aha moment for me right now was I should create dividers. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, if I if I release three new themes for the July to June, it'd be very easy to switch to whatever theme that is. So would that be more fun for you guys, essentially getting like six themes a year that you can use, or should I just do three for the whole year? Like regard, you know, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, this is me like thinking out loud, but your guys' feedback is so incredibly helpful to me. So, so helpful. I take it very seriously, by the way. I am always open to feedback. Um, it's incredibly helpful to me. 
I know I am never, it's not possible to make every single person happy. Um, I personally try to, <laughs> to do that, but I'm, I know I have to really work on like being okay with not making everyone happy because currently it is just myself running this business and I can't do it all. I have to kind of prioritize and all that sort of stuff. But I do take everyone's feedback, you know, to heart. I take it seriously. So please do share with me um, what you want to see in the shop. If there's things that you want to see changed or anything like that. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, I am probably yeah. I need to go to bed. It's almost 11 o'clock. I told myself I'm not going to stay up late anymore. So I need to go to bed, get some shut eye. But I wanted to make sure this video was up first thing in the morning for you guys. I absolutely love how the spread turned out. I feel like it's very simple, very cute for Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on Monday for a day in the life. And otherwise, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.